Dear listeners, good morning and welcome to Comme d'Archi, the podcast that opens the doors to the fascinating world of architecture. For newcomers, let me introduce myself. I'm the spokesperson of Anne-Charlotte Despont, PhD in History of Architecture, published author, head of a communication and development agency based in Paris, France, dedicated to architecture. Let's meet every week to discuss culture and architecture with specialists and learn how to look at projects through a context and diversity lens. Thank you for being with me today, and now it's time for talent. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Dear listeners, good morning. This is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. It's great to be with you again as we launch season three of Comme d'Archi after a great summer holiday here in France. True to our editorial line, we are meeting today in English around a project, this one very emblematic to start a new season. It is the project of the Castle of Fréfossé, told by Nicolas de Fernandez, landscape designer and botanist, a young specialist very much in demand at the moment in landscaping competitions in France. Nicolas speaks directly to you about the subject of landscape in connection with architecture, a subject that is very much in tune with current events. Hello everyone, I am Nicolas de Fernandez, landscape architect and botanist. I first collaborated with Gilles Clément and Coloco before creating Atelier NDF to explore and develop my ideas around wild and free plants and biodiversity. I regularly intervene with the Botanical Garden of Bordeaux at the Observatoire des Friches et des Délaissés of the city of Bordeaux, and I am the author of Improbabilis, the Vegetal Under the Shells. I am delighted to present the project of the Castle of Réfossé Estate and to have the privilege of being the first landscape architect of Comme d'Archi. For the past two years, I have been working on a wonderful project that also feeds my desire for adventures. I explore and cultivate myself on topics as exciting as various. This is especially the case with the Castle of Réfossé project. The entire world knows the cliffs of Etretat. Painters like Gustave Courbet, Eugène Boudin, or Claude Monet contributed to their success. Writers such as Maupassant and Gustave Flaubert were faithful to the site. And Maurice Leblanc, who lived there, contributed to the myth surrounding the site in an adventure by Arsène Lupin. It was entitled L'Aiguille Creuse, this incredible rock overlooking the channel and which, according to the legend told by Maurice Leblanc, contains the treasure of the kings of France, no less. Overlooking the cliffs, a golf course plunges into the sea. On the location of the current hall number 10, there was at the beginning of the last century a tower. It was called Fort de Fréfossé and served as a lighthouse or customs. Demolished because of the instability of structure, this fort seemed like the entrance of the tunnel leading to the treasure on one side and to the castle of Fréfossé on the other side. Since then, many lupinophiles, those who are fans of the adventures of Arsène Lupin, have come to make a pilgrimage to Etretat and try to pass the head between the gates of the castle. The lupinophile will be happy. The castle of Fréfossé changes and transforms into a five-stars hotel. The atypical and incredible building is surrounded by an area of 50 hectares composed essentially of a forest of maples and lindens. The landscaping project is multiple and will have to meet the requirements of such a hotel destination. A plan of landscape management of the estate and plantation is being considered and designed to sustain the wooded area which also has a cavity of more than two hectares hosting rhinolophus bats protected on the European scale. A large part of the rooted area will receive special attention and will be directed to an arboretum to contemplate and raise awareness of trees. 
a rose garden and an orchard of Norman apple trees will decorate the surroundings of the castle. To this is added seven high-end guest rooms in their garden setting, typically Norman. A trail of discoveries of the adventures of Arsène Lupin will be set up with puzzles for young and young at heart. Finally, I, Nicolas de Fernandez, am working on a vegetable garden in permaculture and frugal in water. It will supply fruits and vegetables or aromatics to the star restaurant that will take place in the orchard. After one year of work, an environmental study was submitted and validated by the agglomeration of Le Havre to change the destination of the castle without touching the landscape and biodiversity heritage of the estate. A floristic and phonistic survey of a duration of one year over the four seasons was carried out to reveal the natural resources and biodiversity of the site, which Atelier NDF intends to value in compliance with biological laws, seasons and dynamics of living. Dear listeners, thank you for listening. Let's meet again next week for a new Comme d'Archi in English. And until then, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to tune in to our previous content on Instagram at Comme d'Archi Podcast. If you like it, Make sure to promote the podcast by giving it five stars on Apple Podcast and adding a comment or on any of your favorite podcast platforms. And don't forget to subscribe and listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon, and until then, take care of yourself.